It's impossible for a rich man to see that all these riches are outside him, they are not inside him. He has to be rich in heart to understand compassion. Compassion doesn't mean that you give alms to others or if you give money to others, it's not that. On the contrary, you just help beggars by doing that. Compassion is that works. Compassion is that flows. Compassion is that manifests. It is not in compassion where you can make it materialize it all right, come along, I'll give you a hundred rupees. On the contrary, giving somebody a hundred rupees is the worst. I have tried this with some surgeries who were with me. I tried to give them some money, sometimes they were very, very poor. They became horrid. Uh, some of them started drinking, some of them took to some other ways and they became sort of addicted to money. It was impossible. And they tried to spoil as many surgeries as they could. So such people, if they come, it's impossible to manage them. They are not Sahaja yogis because they are Asahaja. They are still sticking on to the idea that they have so much money, that they are so rich, and they can overpower everyone with one. Not me. I'm sorry. But only thing I feel sorry for them that they cannot get to God. There is no honesty of seeking in them. There is no honesty of seeking. The elite people whom I have addressed so many places like this because some people whom I have cured wanted me to address the elite so-called, I think they are elated to be what they are. They don't want to be in such yoga. They are already eliminated, I sometimes feel. Thousands of them I have addressed, I have wasted my time with them. They are good for nothing, absolutely empty. They are very happy because they have few cars or some houses or something like that. I too have all these things. I would say uh, so-called riches I have always seen from my father's side and from my husband's side. But I don't understand what is there to be proud of this emptiness. But human beings are such. A empty vessel makes a big sound. In the same way, an empty rich man makes a very big sound. Not that the very poor are also good, because those who are extremely poor are busy with their food problems. They have little, little problems and their values are still have to come up to a point. It's only in the middle you can work out Sahaja Yoga better. Those who are extremely rich and proud cannot come to Sahaja Yoga easily. Those who are very poor also cannot come to Sahaja Yoga. But when this middle part of the river is enriched and starts flowing well, it spreads on the sides and then it can engulf. But you cannot start it the other way round. I have tried. I have tried both ways and I have told you what happened, whom I gave money, whom I tried to help through giving money, became wavered, useless, frivolous people, got lost to Sahaja Yoga, and those whom I thought where money that satisfied people had another role to play is to possess me all the time, to use me all the time whenever they wanted for whatever purpose they wanted, purpose they wanted to use me. And they must know you cannot possess me. You cannot possess me. But this kind of an ignorance still in their minds is that they can possess God, they can possess everything. For such people there are no reasons to come to Sahaja Yoga, to be very flat. And even if they come to Sahaja Yoga, they have to know that for Mother, richness of heart, understanding of Sahaja Yoga, humility, non-possessiveness are very important. In this 
Sir, a cent of yours, money is not important at all. Even if you are poor or rich, you get your realization.